We've got Niners and Vikings coming up Monday night football from Minneapolis and Christian McCaffrey is expected to play according to ESPN had that oblique injury officially questionable but is expected to play though uh, they won't have Debo Samuel and the Vikings won't have Justin Jefferson Trent Richardson is also out of this game so let's bring EK in here Eric Casillas from Sportsline and let's get some winning picks from him beginning with the San Francisco 49ers going to stay away from McCaffrey props but you're going to one of the other big names on offense in George Kittle what do you like I like under four and a half receptions, Chris. He's gone over three once this year. His median number is two. And I think they're overestimating the idea that Debo's out and McCaffrey may or may not be limited. Brock Purdy is going to complete about 20 passes, and I don't see five of them going to Kittle. 25% of a reception share would be kind of off the charts. Minnesota is neither good nor bad against the tight end, so I project him at about three and a half catches, and he's got to get to five to beat me. So I, I think there's only about a 20% chance he gets to five, and if we can make an even money bet on something that only has a 20% chance of happening, there's value there I'll go under yeah again like you said just once this season he's gone over not four but three so most of the time three and under let's go over to the Vikings what's a prop you like on that side I love Kirk Cousins over 23 and a half completions look it's not awesome to walk to the window and say give me Kirk Cousins there's only one problem it comes in all the time Right? Don't worry about average, worry about median. The median number of completions for Kirk Cousins this year is 30, and the number's at 23 and a half. He has only been under this number twice all year. Once he had 21, when they had about 15% less plays than projected, and the other time, they had one of the lowest plays any team ran in any game this year. So if you get anything close to a regular game script, he should fly over this. This is like walking into a discount store and seeing that there is an Armani suit that is mismarked. That they don't know what they have. Grab it, run to the register, and buy it. Take over 23 and a half completions. All right, Miss Mark, that's good. They can't take it away from you either. If it says that, you can play that. Now, the line has been sitting at seven. San Francisco, a big road favorite. Vikings haven't been a home dog like this in a long time, but you're going to stay away from the line, and you're going to go to the total here. What's your play on that? Yeah, I'm going to go under the 44. Look, look, the Vikings, five weeks in a row, have scored less points. Right? They just keep dropping in terms of points. You know, they went from 28 to 24 to 21 to 20 to 19. And I'm not sure that they can just suddenly rebound and get where they need to be for this total to go over. Um, I, I expect that this will be a close game for a while, especially in the first half. A touch gloves game, because Minnesota may be putting their season on the line. They'll be at home. You'll hear the skull chant. It'll be exciting. It'll be great. And I expect it to be very, let's feel each other out. Let's make sure nobody knocks anybody out in the first half. That's all good for us if we have the under. Also, if you look at Minnesota, they have had one touchdown, seven total points in their last three fourth quarters. They are not a finished strong team and they are a bad garbage time team if they get behind 17 points or so traditionally they do not do well in garbage time they pull up the gear all these different kind of scenarios lead me to believe that it's probably to me about a 63 64 percent chance that we go under the total so a little value there under the 44. Kirk Cousins Monday Night Football as an underdog 0-7 straight up 0-7 against the spread. That doesn't mean he's not going to go over on completions. That's what EK likes in this one for a Vikings prop. How about anything live that you're going to be following that if you see this, you want to go to the live window for a bet? Yeah, I'd like to see out of the gate if we have a guy named Juwan Jennings and how many snaps he is on the field. He's the guy that may end up in the slot for the 49ers. And if he is, the Vikings are terrible at covering the slot. They get torched. 
So he's at two and a half receptions, and we actually get a big plus money. So they're not expecting him to get to three. They're thinking it's two. They've set it at two and a half. If I see him on the field significantly in the first quarter, I'm going to run and jump on the over two and a half because the slot guy for the 49ers should eat tonight, and the number currently is very low. I just want to make sure he's going to be on the field. They're going to use him in that role. As soon as I see they are doing it, I'm going to play it. All right, that's Eric Casillas giving us some winning picks for Monday Night Football tonight between the 49ers and the Vikings. You can uh, hear him, of course, uh, anytime we have sports line on HQ. And you can also get 60% off a quarterly plan using this promo code, EK wins. EK wins at sportsline.com slash join. And it's 60% off a quarterly sports line plan.